Hi everyone. Today, Salesforce Development Day 3. Whoever is joined for the first time for the development course, I would suggest to go through my previous two sessions as well as the recording, uh, as well as the demo session, so that you will get a clarity what, what has been discussed in last development class. So what is the takeaway from development day three class? What are we going to learn today? So today's agenda is a recap of previous session, previous session of development. And then we will see visual force introduction. And also we will see what are the properties of the visual force and decode of Apex page and then developer console. Then we'll have a navigation steps, how to navigate steps to, what are the navigation step to create a visual force page? Where can we log in, where can we, where should we have to go in order to create a visual force page and interview questions. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss today. Before I go to the, previous session of the development too. Just wanted to cover yesterday's session. I hope is everybody uh, done with answering interview questions and assignment. Is everybody done with the assignment? Yes, Vapna. Yes, Vapna. Yes, Vapna. Okay. So yesterday we were discussing about the relationship, right? I'll just take first five minutes about talking about the relationship. Then we will move on to the development. So yesterday we were discussing about the relationship. What we did is initial first record, we created an Infosys. Infosys we have created in the account. Then we created a support group account and service group account. Then after that, we have created a contacts, Ajay Kumar one contact, Akash one contact and Shashi is another contact. So these are the contacts which we have created. Now, whenever we created this, the Infosys is an account, support group is an account, service group is an account, right? So whenever we have a same object within the same object, if we are linking the another record, then that is called as a self relationship. I mean to say, I have a parent account and also there is a another account and this account is linked to the parent account, right? Here parent account is Infosys. Yesterday, whatever we have created parent account is Infosys and another account which we created support group account and we link the support group to the parent account that is called as a self relationship. So whenever we are linking the records, whenever we are linking same object at the same object level, whenever I'm pointing or whenever I'm looking at the account within the another account is called self relationship. So that means here parent is Infosys and one account is a uh, another account is support group. So whenever I created a support group, I we have yesterday what we did, whenever we were creating the support group, we have mentioned the parent account as Infosys. But these two are in same object. Infosys is also account, support group is also account. So when we are linking within the same object is called self relationship. It is looking for self relation. This is a self relationship. And next one to many relationship. When it comes to one to many relationship, take it as a general example. Ideally, we'll have a one parent, one parent and multiple chairs. So one parent or multiple chairs are connected to the one parent. It's like a father and chair relationship, father and chair relationship. One parent is looking up to the multiple chairs, right? One parent to many chairs. So in our case, yesterday, whatever we have created, 
one account when i say parent is nothing but a one account one account is linked to multiple contacts what was the example that we have done it yesterday the example that we did is we were having the support group support group account support group account is connected to the three contacts ajay kumar is connected to the support group account akash is connected to the support group account shashi is connected to the support group this is called one to many relationship one parent multiple child is called as a one to many relationship this relationship is between the two objects you have a account and contact whenever there is a relationship between the two objects look at how, how which one is the parent which one is child here so here the parent is account child is a contact right so two objects whenever there is a relationship what we will that is a one to many relationship one parent multiple child and uh, swapna yes yeah i have a doubt um, in the self relationship it, even that is a one to many relationship right a self relationship can be also a one to many relationship sorry can you repeat that uh self relationship mm -hmm. can be also one to many relationship correct no self it's not necessary that two always objects. one to one no because see uh, infosys is one account it has two children that is uh, support and uh, other you know uh, two groups right support group and other one so both support. are a different support group is a one account and service group is a another account one account can look into the only one parent account okay so whenever i'm, I'm creating a new record for example i'm creating mm -hmm. a new record okay so mm -hmm. can i connect multiple parent accounts i cannot connect multiple parent accounts so self look self lookup is nothing but self relationship is nothing but it has a only one lookup within the same object mm -hmm. support group and mm -hmm. other one is what is the other one the serial group right uh yeah service group yeah so now isn't it a, a parent account related to support group and service group so isn't it a one to many relationship within the same object same object and we we are linking the only one parent account here yes right so mm -hmm. this is another record right this is one record one record yes. is connected to the one parent account mm -hmm. okay okay so let's move on the next one one to many is nothing but one parent is connected to the multiple child it is like father and child relationship here one parent is nothing but parent object is account object child object is contact object one account is connected to the multiple contacts which is nothing but one to many relationship this relationship happens between the two objects and the next one is one to one relationship one to one relationship between the two objects one child is connected to the only one parent is called one to one relationship so in our case one contact one contact is connected to the one account is called one to one so yesterday the example which we have done it what we have done ajay kumar is a contact this is a single individual person right individual person is a contact is connected to the support group account so it has a one child is connected to the single parent one to one relationship this is applicable for when we have a two objects relation 
Okay. So any questions before I move on to the development? Okay. So let's move on to the development. Last class, again, whoever is not attended my previous two sessions, please go through the my two uh, sessions, which is already available in the YouTube channel. Please go through that. So there we have discussed about the last class we have discussed about the tags. What is the tag? And also we have discussed about the HTML tag. This is the basic, basic HTML tags. So whenever we are implementing the visual force logic, that time we will be using some of the HTML tags like P tag. P tag is nothing but paragraph. And then if I wanted to make a text bold, then what we will use? B tag. If I want a single line break, in that case, we will use BR and then slash. What is this BR and slash? Self tag. Self tag. tag. Self closing tag. Yes, self closing tag. Yes. So tags are tag. always starts with open tag and then close with there is a closing tag. So tags will always have a open and the close. But break does not have a open and close because there is no text that needs to be written between the break. So it is a self-closed tag. And also we discussed about how to create a developer org, where to go to the developer org, where to go and how. what are the information that we have to enter and how to create a developer org, everything we have discussed last class. Now, also we had a little bit introduction about the visual forcing, right? So what is the visual force? Whoever has attended my previous session, what is a visual force? It is nothing but designing. It is the user interface. It's a class, classic experience. Classic experience yeah. user interface. Into the class. Uh, Visual Force is a technology which is used to develop classic Salesforce UI. Mm -hmm. Okay. Others, what is a Visual Force? It's a tagging language. Tagging language, yes. It is used to develop user interface in classic. User interface in classic, okay. Okay. So visual force is a framework. Visual force is, first of all, it is a framework. Now here, what is a framework? Collection of technologies. It's a collection of technologies to build a user. Multiple technologies. Collection of technologies, multiple technologies, yes. Others? Any other definition for framework? Okay, so visual force is a framework. Framework is nothing but collection of technologies, multiple technologies collected together. That means visual force is a collection of technology that allows the developer to build a beautiful custom interfaces. Visual force is a collection of technology that allows the developer to build sophisticated customer user interface. And that can be hosted natively on force.com. What is a force.com here? Platform as a service. 
platform as a service. Perfect. Right. So we, by using the visual course, we will build. So basically, visual course allows the developers to build custom user interfaces in classic and that can be hosted on the course.com platform. Ma'am, what's that meaning like hosted natively? Hosted natively is nothing but so where it is actually hosted, remove that natively. Have you understood like hosted is, on the force.com? Like it was located on force.com. You are saying that. Yes. Okay. So where we will build the visual force? On platform as a service. What is the platform as a service in Salesforce? In that, uh, like... What is the techno what is the platform as a service in Salesforce? What is the example for platform as a service? Force.com. All the development happens on the force.com platform. You know, now let's move on. Let's understand what are the properties of visual force. So first of all, the visual force is UI based technology. This is a front end, front end user interface, user interface. Visual force is a user interface, ba interface based technology. In other words, it is a front end technology. And the visual force language, it looks like similar to HTML programming. Last class, we have seen how HTML programming, right? Where can we see all the HTML standard keywords? W3 schools. W3 schools. If you go to w3 the W3 schools. schools. Yes. If you go to the W3 schools, we can see all the HTML program. So visual force language is, it's almost similar like a HTML program. It will have tags, open tag, close tags. But there are different tags. Visual Forces uses their own tag. Visual Force has Visual Force predefined tags. So Visual Force uses the predefined tags. So whenever the Visual Force is language whenever we start creating the visual force page by default whenever we create a visual force in developer console it always has a start and end every visual force tag has a start and end but whenever we creating the visual force if i'm creating the new visual force page by default, Salesforce will give me open Apex colon page and close Apex colon page. By default, Salesforce, as soon as I create a new program, as soon as I create a new Visual Force page, by default, Salesforce is going to give me the Apex colon page and closing Apex colon page. This is how you will see. As soon as I create a visual force page, new visual force page, it comes with open Apex colon page and close Apex page. Now what we will be writing within this Apex page? What we will be writing within the Apex page? We will use HTML, CSS, JavaScript. All of these are used to implement a program within the Apex colon page. To implement any program in the Visual Force page, we will be using the Visual Force tags. Along with that, we will be using HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Has to be within this. Has to be within the Apex colon page, start of the Apex colon page, end of the Apex colon page. What is a HTML here? What we are going to use it? We use the HTML for designing the forms. 
styling the forms, displaying text in a right format, implementing a page structure for all user interface styling display on the user interface. Whenever it is needed, we will use the HTML. And when we will use the CSS, CSS is used to implement look and feel for application. For example, you have a, for example, you have a text, okay? You have a text that needs to be displayed in center, that needs to be displayed in center. So you need to apply some style. You need to apply some style. So for example, there is a text by default, it is showing from the starting of the frame, but I do not want the starting of the frame. I want it to display in between of the page, center of the page, or I want the bold text, I want it to show that as a clickable link. It is a bold text, but it should have a hyperlink. So all those stylings, or I wanted to make that font as a italic, right? All those stylings can be applied to the, applied based on the requirement, we will be using the CSS. CSS is nothing but cascading style sheet. Cascading style sheet. CSS is nothing but cascading style sheet. CSS is nothing but cascading style sheets. Okay, next JavaScript. JavaScript is also, we are going to use this JavaScript for user experience. For example, you wanted to show a pop-up message, alert message you wanted to say. You wanted to show alert message that can be implemented using the JavaScript. Or you wanted to show a message on top of the page, you wanted to show a message that can be implemented using the JavaScript, right? Everything we will be using within this open and close of Apex colon page. Now let's understand more in detail about Apex colon page. So I yeah. have a question. Yeah. yeah. So when you say uh, JavaScript or CSS, okay. So are we using new technologies like jQuery or you know React or those no. type of JavaScript or just a simple JavaScript? Uh, in Visual Force, it's a basic JavaScript. Like if you have to show alert message, pop up message, right? You wanted to pass okay. a parameter, basic JavaScript. We will not be using the jQuery or high level JavaScript. But in Lightning, we use that? Yes, Lightning is a modern JavaScript. At that time, we will come to know what are the things. But here in so Visual we will Force, be covering. So we will be covering that aspect as well of yes. JavaScript? Yes. Okay. Okay. And other question I have, like when we start working on any project, okay, so uh, the design of the page will uh, will be de decided by whom? There will be a different design team or a, a developer has to do it? Or is there the standard in Salesforce, okay, this button has to be blue color or something like that? Sometimes developer has to play a role of design. Mm -hmm. And sometime architect will be giving you the design. And, and another, like there are few times where the business analyst will be giving the design to developer. It's all depending on where are you working, in which company you are working, how your team is following it. Based on that, you will be dealing with that. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Now, Apex colon page, open Apex colon page and close Apex colon page. Now, whatever we write about based on the requirement, if we have to use the HTML or CSS or JavaScript, everything has to be between this open and close. You cannot write outside of this close. Outside of the close Apex colon page, you cannot write. 
right? So let's see a little bit in depth on the Apex colon page. What is this? Let's decode. Let's decode that particular tag, right? As we, as I have mentioned, it always Apex colon page is a always starting of the whenever we create a visual course page by default. Salesforce is giving that open and close of Apex colon page. We call sometimes developers say Apex colon page is a visual course tag. And few developers say this is a standard component. So that means we call it, we call this as a visual force tag, or we can call this as a standard component. Some developer says it's a standard component. Some, some developer says it's a visual force tag. Whoever is working from the long, who has a more than four years of experience or five, year, five years of experience in Salesforce, they say visual force tag because they started working from visual force tag and slowly it has moved into the standard component. When the lightning came into the market, that time we call it as a standard component. We started saying standard component. So there are few developers who says visual force tag. There are few developers who says standard component. So whenever you are reading the blogs, whenever you read a blog, somewhere you will see standard component, other blocks, they will say visual force tag, but do not get confused. Standard component, visual force tags are both mean same. It's a visual force predefined tags. And as I have mentioned, it always has open visual force tag, and then it has closed visual force tag. Right? How can you identify open or close? By looking at this slash. Wherever you see this slash, that means you are ending the tag there. You are, you are closing the tag. Right? If you are opening the tag, you must close the tag. For closing, this is the slash you have to put it. Now, here, what is Apex? Apex is a, it's a prefix, which is nothing but namespace prefix namespace. So when visual force, whenever we are using the visual force tags, we always have to start with the namespace called Apex. There has to be prefix namespace called Apex colon. Apex colon. Everywhere, wherever you are using the visual force tag, every visual force tag has to start with Apex colon. There are 150 plus of visual force tags are there. There are 150 plus visual force tags are there. And we will see in our class all the tags. So Apex is the namespace, which whenever we are writing the visual force tag, we always has to start with the Apex colon. Then whatever this next after the colon, whatever is there, we say that component name. We say that component name. Page is a component name. And we also have a apex colon input. Input is a component name. Whatever comes after the apex colon, that is a component name. Salesforce has implemented that component. Whenever you use the page component, that means single page implementation, single page visual force, pay, visual force implementation. So as soon as you use this Apex colon page, Salesforce, look at your code and they will decode your Apex colon page to their language. And they, by looking at the page component, okay, that means developer wants to implement a single visual force page, right? And they have done back end of this page component. Salesforce has implemented a lot. There is a lot of coding that has been implemented by Salesforce. But finally, Salesforce is giving to us use Apex colon page if you wanted to implement a Visual Force page. So we are simply using Apex colon page 
by using that we are able to implement the visual course page but as soon as i use the apex colon page what salesforce does salesforce decode that complete tag and whatever the code that is written by the salesforce again it start executing it at the back end then finally we will see the response which is coming on the user interface on the salesforce okay is everybody clear about this decoding of apex page what happens at the back end uh, uh swapna yeah uh, yeah uh, in this visual course okay when we write a program is it interpreted or it needs to be compiled so basically let me open the here paint okay now i have a apex colon page so first of all this is a predefined 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 tag who is giving this tag salesforce is giving this tag now back end of this what is happening salesforce has returned the logic they might have written the logic in javascript or they have used something else okay by using the javascript or java they have implemented a logic they have implemented a logic here at the back end implemented and they did a compilation and everything they have done okay tested compilation is done tested perfectly everything is done finally they gave us they have implemented some 200 lines or 500 lines of code in salesforce but for us for salesforce developers they just gave apex colon page you don't worry about anything you just use it apex colon page it's already compiled the back end code whatever is there with the salesforce it is already compiled everything is done now as soon as you use the apex colon page there is an integration which happens with the salesforce code any questions on this decoding so from now onwards you have to you will be decoding it whenever you use the whenever you use visual post tag while implementing the code or whatever you are writing the program whenever you use a visual post tag you always have to decode that understand the tag and then write a program so that you will never forget in your life Okay, if there are no questions, let's move on. Now, here, okay. So we have a developer console, right? How, how to go to developer console? We go to the developer console. If I am into the Salesforce Lightning, I mean Salesforce Lightning. If I am in Salesforce Lightning, if I have to go to developer console, then click on this setup icon. Then there is a third option, which is called as a developer console. Click on this developer console. Now, what is this developer console? What is this? What is this developer console? We can write our code. Okay. Others? We can write our logic, everything we have to back and code. Mm -hmm. No, it's an editor to write a code and write a, uh, have to write tags to write and execute the code. Mm -hmm. You can write visual course pages. You can write headers. Okay. Have you heard? Have you heard about IDE? Yeah, Eclipse like Eclipse, STL. Eclipse is IDE, right? What is yeah. IDE? Integrated data environment. 
so developer console is also integrated development environment which is also called as a ide we are developing the project in the developer console so developer console is also ide and developer consoles has collection of tools developer console has collection of tools we will see what are the tools but here we developer console also we call ide integrated development environment for what no, it is also called as a what a collection of tools means collection of form. tools means framework when you go to the developer console you you are able to create a visual force you are able to create a lightning aura you are able to pull the object it has a okay. multiple tools inside that ide that's the reason we are able to write the aura that's the reason yes. we are able to write the visual force okay we will see going further what are those tools so but it has a collection of tools where we can execute a query where we can create a new program in the visual force or lightning aura or apex right and also we can debug the logic whatever is implemented and we where we can run our own code whatever the if i have written the 200 lines of code i have written 200 300 lines of code but out of that i wanted to test only five lines of code right in developer console which is possible i can copy that five lines of code i can run only that five lines of code in the developer console that is again another tool which we call it as a anonymous window right so we can test our code we can create programs and we can modify it and we can debug the logic and we can test the code everything is done in the developer console now in developer oh. console this is how it okay. looks like a developer console now developer console whatever you see on top okay whatever you see on top this is a menu options these are menu options file edit debug test workspace help right and then another we will be seeing this whenever we are doing the program we will be using a file we will be using a debug these two mostly we will be using it file debug okay test we will see later but right now in next uh, few sessions we will be seeing file debug so this is a menu option and one more thing just observe okay here the url when you go to the developer console okay till this dot com is your org is your org this is your org see samskar it to hyphen dev hyphen ed dot development here it is a lightning but it shows as a my.salesforce.com if you can if you switch to the classic you will see exactly similar one let me switch to the classic for switching a classic we have to click on this avatar icon and then there is a option will come here switch to classic once i click on it switch to classic as soon as i click on switch to classic you will see the entire ui gets converted into the classic see here samskar it to hyphen dev hyphen ad dot develop dot my dot salesforce dot com so till this point is your url your salesforce url now after that what happened after that salesforce added something here after this what they have added is ui common right ui common is just they have added but from here apex debug apex csi page 
this is actually where you are writing the program whether you write a aura whether you write a visual force whether you write a apex everything where they are storing it this apex slash debug slash apex csi page okay so this is menu options okay all menu options we will be seeing it so don't worry about it but for next few sessions we will mostly see file and debug next very important option which we have to understand is logs on bottom of the not on the bottom like here you will see there is a first tab called logs this is very important whenever you run any salesforce program or whenever you run a code or you are doing something in the org immediately there is a log gets created log gets created and where you can see all the logs all the logs you can see it here you can see all the logs the status whether it is completed or failed processed still in the queue everything you can see here in the status whatever the latest log is there that you will see here in this box okay let me show you that okay so for example let me clear all of this deeper clear clear logs okay now i do not have any logs here now what i'll do is i'll go to account right i'm opening the one of the account right there is a actions are happening there is something is running at the back end otherwise how i will get the data here right something is happening where is it just a second developer console okay so i'll click on edit and i'll make a changes to the rating code let's click on a save as soon as i click on a save see there is a log is created by my user is dec batch and the application i was doing on the browser right salesforce browser operation this is the operation id when what is the time this is 7:53 right now the time india time and status success and then read read whether i have seen this or not i have not seen this log so if i click on this log immediately here unread will go away that means i open and i am seeing the log whenever i start seeing the log immediately that option will go away and what is the size of the log 1.33 kb 1.33 kb now you can sort it based on the time or based on the operation you can sort which are the way you want it so these all are the logs developer will be seeing all the logs there okay that is easy way to see the logs there is another way also there but if you are in a developer console okay if you are doing some actions on the user interface and if there is any error or if you want to know what is the logs are created you can come and see here but this is a short information okay so next we'll have problems this is very important problems what is this problems problems is nothing but whenever you are writing a program whenever you start writing a program if 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 you are writing five lines of code out of the five lines second line is having a issue what will happen immediately this problem will show you what is the issue immediately if you click on this problem the problem is going to show what is the problem name and which line and what is the problem what is missing in that line so it will suggest you some time use the right one 
and it will also tell what need what you need to use it in order to in order to solve that issue so it will give a hint right so that is the developer control these options are where we will be seeing these three are very important okay rest other tabs yes we will see that but right now assume that logs problems menu options you need to understand okay so let's move on navigation steps to create a visual course page in salesforce lightning if you are in salesforce lightning what are the options that we have to do what are the navigation steps let's switch to the lightning navigation steps are connect to the salesforce lightning experience click on this setup and click on developer console this is in salesforce lightning whereas in classic from classic how do you come so let's switch to the classic now in classic click on the user menu for your name whatever the name is there your uh, the username is there on that user name click on the user menu so when you click on it you will see the third option called developer console you will see third option called developer console now once you reach to the developer console how to create a visual course page click on file and then click on new click on file click on a new then you will see the third option called visual course page file new and click on visual force page once you click on a visual force page then it will ask you to enter the name of the apex page the name of the visual force page name the name of the visual force page name so you have to enter whatever the program that you are planning to implement whatever the program that you are planning to implement it so you have to enter here okay so while entering this like how what is is there any format to give a name of the visual force page or what is the format like basically is there any predefined format is there can i create a visual force page starting with numbers and then i'll say visual force can i create it starting with the numbers no. you no, cannot it's not allowed you cannot basically the program needs does not start with the numbers does not start with the numbers so you cannot create it now click on a file new visual force page okay numbers are not allowing then how about the special characters can i create a special characters and then can i write visual force it doesn't right it doesn't special characters numbers are not allowed naming convention visual force naming we cannot create visual force name starting with number and the second one we cannot create we cannot create visual force name starting with special character Now, next one. Okay, that's fine. So I have to start with alphabet. Okay, I'll give. Click on new, and then click on a Visual Force page. Now I'll say here, 
my first program. What I'm doing here, I'm writing all the alphabets here, but I have given the space. Do you see the space here? My space, first space program. Does it allow if, I, if I'm giving the space? It does not. It says that it is a not a legal name. It's not a legal name. So you cannot create cannot create visual force name with spaces. If you want to put a space, okay, I need a space. I somehow I wanted to differentiate this my first program. If you want a space, better put a underscore. Underscore, underscore, my underscore, first underscore program. Right? If you put underscore, yes, it will accept. Now see what happened as soon as I created it. It is giving me the open apex colon page and close apex close apex colon page. Now whether it is a HTML, CSS, JavaScript, anything, we will be writing between this open and close. If I write outside, now I'll say that We know paragraph, right? So let me use the paragraph. I'll say visual force. Where I'm writing it, I'm writing outside of this close. As soon as I start writing outside of the close, and if I try to say, see here, the problems. It says that the markup in the document following the root element must be well formed. It is coding very neatly saying that you are writing the logic outside of the markup language, outside of the Apex colon page and close of Apex colon page. So you should be writing between the start and end. You close this and if I put a paragraph, okay? I'll say in the paragraph, I'll put the same details. Sorry. Okay. I'm writing the same details in the paragraph here. Now let's say. Right. So whatever we have discussed the point, I'm just adding the same points in the visual force. So I'm adding the paragraph, right? Okay, now as soon as I'm done, so whenever you see here the star mark, whenever you see the star mark here, that means your program is not saved yet. Your program is not saved yet. I'll put another one should use underscore. Okay, no, I'll not save it. Does it display my latest changes? It will not display my latest changes because I have not saved my program. It's still in edit mode. When we say, when we see here star, means it is a edit mode. It is in edit mode. As soon as I, you know, like what I'm doing is control plus yes. So use control plus yes in order to save the program. If you are using a Windows, use that. If you have a Mac, I don't know. Okay, so control plus S is nothing but to save the program, whether it is a visual force program or whether it is a Apex or Aura, whatever the program you are doing it, use control S, it will automatically show. This is the shortcut in order to save it. If you do not have, if this is not working for you, the key, then you have to go to file and click on save. Do not do the save all. 
always use save file and then save so it will save your program now once we are done here now a couple of things let's understand here salesforce every release they are not every release at least yeah every release like we have a three releases right we will be discussing that in the admin we have a three releases okay every release they will be releasing the latest version they will be releasing the latest version whenever you are writing a program always check your api version are you implementing a uh, visual force page in a latest version or the lowest one the lowest one is 52 if you want to switch you can switch and you can save it okay it's saving but there are some visual force tags which does not support 52 version they always need above 54 or above 55 so always use latest version do not switch back to the old version because next release you might not see 52 you might not see 52 so that time either salesforce will be giving you hint saying that you have a some programs which are still in the 52 in salesforce you will see the critical updates there is one option called critical updates before any release salesforce alert you saying that look at your critical critical issues so in that critical issue if they are removing the api version 52 that means you are in the problem so always upgrade always put or always use the latest version api version always use the api version now we are using here 56 this is one of the interview question still they ask what is the current api version whether you are doing the apex or visual force or lightning aura they always ask what is your what is the current api version okay so always look at this ap whatever the current version is there it was always takes by default latest version but if you are implementing something in the 53 version or 52 version just make sure that double check is it having the latest version or not okay now i have implemented the program now i have implemented the program now how to see where to see preview preview right so if i click on a preview preview is nothing but this is a button which is provided by Salesforce. This is by default. Salesforce provides for only Visual Force pages. You will not see for Apex. You will not see for Aura. This button is available only for Visual Force pages. Whenever you are creating the Visual Force page, you are giving a name there. And uh, when like you go here, file, new Visual Force page. And as soon as you click on OK, the backend Salesforce take your Visual Force page, page name and it will always have an extension called VFP. Visual Force page always has the extension VFP. As soon as the Salesforce sees that, okay, there is some Apex page is coming. They are creating, developers are creating the Apex page. Then that means as soon as I click on it, okay, there is an integration happens from our org to Salesforce. Okay, there is a Visual Force page they are creating it so it has to come a preview button right so preview button is only available for visual force pages and the visual force page extension is dot vfp dot vfp visual force page now if i click on a preview so as soon as i click on a preview what happens here it's a paragraph though i have given spaces and line by line but still it is taken as a single line what we did here entire text is a paragraph we have given if i would have given a paragraph closing here 
Okay, and then I'm opening one more paragraph. Now control S, automatically it will reflect the changes. See here, this is one paragraph, this is another paragraph. And second paragraph also has a second point and third point. So instead of adding the paragraph, what I'll do is I'll put a break point. So what is the break point here? Break point is single line break. See the differences. If I use the paragraph, it has a two lines of break. If I use the break, normal break, that means a single line break. If you want one more break between that, then you have to add another break. Right now it is showing one, two, three, and the four is also along with the three. Now till this point, any questions before I move on? Any questions, how we created the program, what we have written inside the program? Any questions? Uh, Swapna, I'm having one question regarding the logs. Uh, can we see the old logs? For example, I, I wrote one program. Mm. Uh, like how many times I ran. Uh, it, it, these will be archived after some time or how they are maintaining? There is a limit. If you keep your system like this, okay? After some time, you are not on your desk. For example, you are writing a program and you went for a break. You went for one hour break. As soon as you come back to the, your desk and when you open your laptop, there is a pop-up message will come here. Okay, so maybe I'll take the next time that screenshot and I'll show you that. So that means it hanged. It has not tracked the logs. Mm -hmm. if, you are, if you are in a developer console actively, you are using the developer console, whether it is a eight hours, two hours, 12 hours, 24 hours. If you are actively working in the developer console, yes, you will see. Until unless you don't close it. You have to be in this developer console. Mm -hmm. okay how long you will be there till that point you will be having all the logs okay then as soon as you close this you will lose all the logs okay now i'll close but this now we have one two three four four logs are there i'm closing it okay then i'll open again the developer console all my logs will go away okay there is no logs here okay there is a log limit is there, okay, that we will discuss later. But here in this, whatever you are seeing, you are talking about this log, as soon as you close your developer console, you will lose all your logs. Okay. okay. In case of production or something, if I want to see one issue, can I see, I mean, like, can I get the logs of that? I mean, like, uh, any chance to get log file? Got this is a short to... this is a short logs you will not get entire information in this log sometime if you have a huge okay, okay. so logs we will be discussing tomorrow just hold on it that okay. thank you why did you use the break statement two times like it's a self closing tag right yes so why is it necessary for two for two times okay now i'll remove it no, like I'm asking only for one time. Yeah, I'll show you. Yes. That. Okay, I have removed it. Now see second, third, right? Second, third is yes. coming in the same line. I do yes, not yes. want to use the paragraph. So what I did is I use the break. So what will happen? It is a single line break right okay. single line break but if you look at one and two there is a space another line break is there okay 
in order to beautify again what i have done is i added one more brick if you do not want to add a multiple breaks okay, okay. then better use the paragraph okay. Uh, Swapna, if we have like more lines, like as you have just uh, uh, shown us, like the three and four, mm -hmm. so you just added like two breakpoints, right? So if we have more lines, then we need to add over there itself, or else like separately we need to add. So uh, just take an example of an address. Okay, when you have an address, you have a line by line. Right. You, mm -hmm. When you say address, first you will mm -hmm. be writing about the flat number. Okay. Yeah. And the billing. Billing name. Mm -hmm. And below you will be having the street name. Yeah. And then city. Okay. So here in this scenario, whatever you have here, flat number, street name, city. Mm -hmm. This break will work. Yeah. Or this break will work. Because mm -hmm. I need, need not to have a separate another blank here. But from address to flat number, I need to add, I need additional space there. So here I can okay. use the paragraph to add an additional space. Mm -hmm. So what will happen when I add a paragraph? It will two lines of the break. Basically, one space will come between the each line. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have done it here. Okay, but over there, like you have just entered the two breaks, right? So over here again, like you are giving the space and entering this, right? I have removed the break here. I removed it. Okay. Okay. So here it is. Either you can use a paragraph or else mm -hmm. if you do not want to use the paragraph, then add a break. Okay. So add we need to break, give a space, right? You need to add it twice in order to make it beautify. Uh -huh. Okay. Clear any other questions? Okay. Now, the text is displaying. This is my frame. Okay. This is my entire frame. It's starting from the zeroth position. It is starting, right? It is starting from zeroth position but I want in the center. This text needs to be displayed in the center. Okay. How we will be doing it? In order to display the text in the center, we cannot do it using the HTML tags, right? HTML tags, we cannot do it. Now, first, what I'll do is I'll put this entire paragraph in the div. What is the div? What is the div? It's useful for a uh, uh, display a content in section. Yeah. Section wise. Yes. If you want to divide it the section wise, then you have to use the div. Div is the HTML tag. Div is the HTML tag, but within the HTML tag, every tag has a attributes, right? As we discussed before, every tag has a attributes. What are the attributes that are available for HTML? What are the tag? Tag. What are the attributes are available for HTML? Name. Hey. Picture, anchor, 
Which so SRC. Uh, so div has. So div has a different attribute like a class, right? It has a class. And there are some attributes which is called as a style. Okay, within the div, we can add a style. Now one of the attribute called style. Why I'm using the style? Because I wanted to put the text in the middle of, in the center of the window. Like here on top, center, I wanted to place it. Right? Style is the attribute where I can use it for styling the section. Whatever this div section is there, for styling the entire div section, we can use the style. Now, where can we see these styles? What needs to be used in the styles? In W3 schools, go to CSS. All your stylings are here. Okay. If you want to make a border color, border hyphen style solid. If you wanted to display in center, right? I wanted to display the text in the center. So CSS text. So this way I wanted to display in the center. So we can use text color or test alignment. There is something called test alignment. Text alignment equal to center. Text alignment equal to center. If I use this style, so what I'll do is I'll put in the double quotes and I'll add that text hyphen align colon center. Now I'll save this. Now let's see. Perfect. It came into the center. Right, it came into the center. And like that, if you wanted to use any other styling, today, go through this, all of them. Okay, CSS border, how to use, how to use the margin, how to use the padding, how to use the outline, right? So before that, let me take this screenshot. Okay, so this is the logic which we have written, right? Now here, div is the tag. This is tag. Open tag. And then bottom we have a close okay. HTML tag. Right? And then what is this here? This is a attribute. This is attribute. Every tag has a attributes. And few attributes are mandatory for few tags. Right? For the HTML tag, most of the HTML tags are does not have a mandatory attributes. So style is one of the attribute. Now what I have given style attribute equal to we always have to use the double code. We always have to use the double code. Within the double code, we have to put the CSS logic. What are the logic, CSS logic you wanted to put? Everything we have to put it into the, between the double codes, right? Between the double codes. Now we have an example, text align, colon center, text align left, text align right. If you wanted to display text in the left side or right side, then take this and put this entirely. You cannot change this. 
Okay, can I put a text A-L-G-N instead of a line? Can I put text A-L-G-N? You cannot. Because that is a predefined is given by the CSS. So this is component, HTML component, predefined component. Now this you decided whether you want a center, left, right, decided. So before the colon, whatever this component is there, we have to use the exact component name. We have to use exact component name, colon, then you can add whatever the text, whether it is a center, left, right, you cannot add ABC or something else text here. So text alignment should be center, left, header. Now like this, there is a border, right? Now in the border, if you want a border color, if you want a border color, you have to use border hyphen style or border hyphen color is the HTML component or HTML property. This is HTML property. So this you cannot change. This property name, you cannot change it. This side, you can put red, white, green, whatever you want, the color, you can put it. But whatever the property names are there, property names are should not be changed as they have given. Same way we have to use it in the style. Div style equal to text hyphen align colon center. That means I wanted to place this in the center. Any questions? Okay, no the homework. Yes, any questions? Question. Uh, can you go in the program? I text uh, this one, Visual, visual Force Studio. Uh, sorry, Visual Force. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, can you just remove the close stack of Apex page? The end, uh, line number 13. If you are opening, then you need to have it close. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want to see something. Can you just remove it? If you remove and... it, you will see the error. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Uh, like how the errors come. It, it will be shown in the uh, problems, right? Yes, it will show in the problem. Yeah. Okay. So XML document structure must start and end with the same entity. Okay. Okay. Assignment. Whatever we have implemented for this. Ma'am. Ma yeah. I mean, sorry. Visual Force. Sorry. sorry. Visual Studio also, right? In VS Code also, we can do this. Yes, and everything right? visual, core, visual studio also you can do that but right now there yeah. are few members who are new to this so they cannot do the visual studio yes ma'am like one doubt ma'am like here you are saying attributes uh so you are uh giving right uh like text line enter and everything you have it in vs no it will be same whatever we are doing in the developer console the same way we can implement in Visual Studio. There is no difference. Like style. So what we want, so that attribute we have entered. So they're also the same. Like there we won't get any suggestion if we enter style equals to they won't we get any suggestion, right? Like what attribute we need to enter and everything. There are some packages in Visual Studio. If you install it by default, it will suggest you. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. So assignment one, put a border red color. Put border red color. I 
and it has to be center. And text has to be center. Okay. And then next assignment Salesforce should be shown in the page. And I'll take a new one. Okay. It should show Salesforce here. And it should be bold and a header. Uh, it should be 16. Salesforce need to display in the header one. And then some paragraph here. Let's assume that the paragraph is Let's take uh, what is the visual force? Then we will give. What is the visual force? Visual force is a framework. So this is the text. And here highlight framework. That means bold, sophisticated, bold, italic, interface, italic. And then post.com should be underlined. Should be underlined. Clear on these two assignments? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. okay. Next one. SAP, AWS, Salesforce. Note should be bold. And here, bullet point, bullet point, note. And this should be italic. Salesforce is number one CRM in world number one CRM. Okay. This text has to be from left. Usually, how do we start? We will start it from like this. We will start it, right? It starts from right. I do not want like that. It should start from left. It 
this is third one fourth one green So the HR and address street number building name city. Okay, this is the fourth one. Okay, let me stop sharing and uh, let me stop recording. We are done with the 